Hello dear friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to show you how to design a roll-up banner in Adobe Illustrator. Stay with me until the end of the video. Please make a note of these color codes as we will use them throughout the design. First, we create a new document with dimensions of 85 by 200 cm in CMYK color mode and with a resolution of 300 ppi. To create a safe margin for printing, we start by drawing a rectangle with no stroke, with dimensions of 80 by 195 centimeters. We center it using the Align tool. Right-click and select Make Guides. Next, we draw another rectangle at the top of the page with the width set to 85 cm, but you can choose any height you like. Using the selection tool, select a corner and adjust it slightly while holding the shift key. Make a copy and place it behind the shape we just created. Move it down a bit and change its color. Again, select a corner with the selection tool and adjust it slightly while holding the shift key. Repeat this process. Create another rectangle with no stroke. Use the selection tool to select the right corner and adjust it slightly. Then select the whole shape and round its corners. Place another shape behind it and match its corners with the shape in front. Use the eyedropper tool, shortcut key I, to change its color.
hold down the Alt key, click, and drag to create another copy. Now it's time to add images to our design. From the File menu, select Place and import the images you have into the document. Position them wherever you like, placing the image behind the shape by arranging the image layer below the shape layer. Select both and choose Clipping Mask. Thank you for watching the video up to this point. I'd appreciate it if you like my video and subscribe to my channel to motivate me to keep going. At this point, I'm going to speed up the video a bit because the steps are pretty repetitive. For the background, I'll create a rectangle and choose a color for it. I think adding prices below the images will make it look nicer. I'll create them like the previous shapes. Now it's time for the text elements.
I'll add the texts one by one and speed up the video a bit so it doesn't get boring. I'll also create a few plus or cross signs to make it more attractive. Thank you for watching my video up to this point. I'd be happy if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you for staying with me until this part of the video. Goodbye, everyone.